<sighs> Not having phone signal or internet sucks so bad. Rare occurrence like that helps us any. Sure, it took a lot to get from Bucharest to this forum Maris place. More than crossing the ocean, I might add. It's this blasted storm that defies the laws of physics, popping in and out of nowhere all over the world. Did you hear the driver saying it was messing with the GPS? Wait, where'd that accent come from? This? Whoa, what are my ancient stomping grounds doing to me? Kitty, I th think this is the real me. <sighs> it never ends. Well, we're here. Charming town, your ancestral home. You will, of course, understand my apprehension and distrust of this place. Me being a black cat and everything? It isn't still the Middle Ages here, dummy. And as long as you're not excessively loud, people tend to not notice you can speak. Let's find peace. Right behind you. It's a particularly badly lit street, probably leading outside of town. Intriguing, yes, but it's uh, sure not inviting. I don't want to send her down the dark street by herself. Whoa, an authentic, cool-looking Transylvanian castle! Man, I have to say, as far as background scenery goes, can't beat a castle on a craggy hill. You, you just can't. Wherever she goes, I go. But we're not walking there, that's clear. What a quaint little horse-drawn carriage. Good to know there's a functioning vehicle around here. That's a good horsey. Kid A, be nice to the horsey. What? Did I say or do anything? Just being preemptive, that's all. Jeez. It's a cable running from that inn to the reddish gate. Probably internet, I'm thinking. Must be pretty important around these parts, this cable. We're both following this cable, right, Kid A? All I can do is follow it, I guess. That's most definitely a sign saying in something. Yeah, my Romanian is really not up to snuff. I don't need her to climb up there. It's nice and useful where it is. Man, that's a nice, warm, inviting window right there. It's like something out of a fairy tale. All that's missing is heavy snow outside. I'm grateful there isn't any, though. Do I even have to say out loud that this bucolic tableau does nothing for her? Just walk in there, Mr. Big Words. <laughs> it's literal trash. You'll probably pick it up. Maybe I will. Oh, I'm convinced you will. Okay, I'm picking it up. Good. Great. Look, I am picking it up. That's just swell, buddy. You better believe it. I do. Fine. Good. A pretty powerful light bulb illuminating that info thingy. Looks like something this tourist could use. You don't need to involve me in all your foolishness, you know? I... I know, I know. It's way too hot to touch and I don't see a light switch. It's a tourist info thing about the statue in town in general. Yep, just as I suspected, it's a Vlad. The whole numbering thing with lords and rulers speaks volumes of their imagination when it comes to names. I dare not suggest touristy things to her. 
it's a tourist info thing about this. Yep, just as I suspected, it's a Vlad. That description is nigh unreadable, but I'll bet my bottom dollar that's a Vlad. Very popular Voivod name. Eh, trends. Must have been a mean mother. Got a stake in everything. Cool. Apparently she's into art that's way more modern than this. He's just for watching and being in awe of. It's where the mayor of Forumaris toils away, serving the citizens. Lights on. Must be a lot of work managing this quaint little town. I doubt she cares about administrative work. I'll just leave them to it. A man in what I think is a traditional mask. He looks really distressed as far as I can tell. Man, that's one cool looking mask. I'd wear that mask everywhere if it was socially acceptable. Masks absolutely own. Best not involve her unless absolutely necessary. Um, good evening? The castle must make it to the castle. Castle? Must reach castle, must defend castle. I'm afraid I can't help you with that, sir. Hi again. I must reach the castle, I must defend the castle. Okay, see you later. A fine example of the local populace. He looks very, um, very, well, uh, determined? Okay, I've made up my mind. I like this dude. She doesn't sp Hi! No serious, ma. No, ma, ni ma la el ce palid e, ma, ma, ești bine, ma, frățioare, ni ma la el ce tras la față e, ma, săracu, că zici că n-o mânca nimic de tri zile, tu l-ai, Sâlvie, dar cum ai ajuns aici, ma, da, da, de unde e, de unde e fi, ma, de-a, de-a cu ești, cu curat ai venit, ni ma și umblă cu mâța aia după el, pai, ni la el, ma, zici că-s de la țârcuș, mâță neagră, ma, umblă după el, gândești că-i câne, Bata-te norocul sa te bat. Have you seen a foreign girl around here lately? Ce ma, fete străine aici? Du-te ma de aici ma, auzi la el, fete-i traba. Tu l-ai, doamne, dar pai tu vii aici de unde o intarca dracu copchii sa cati fete, dar pai voi n-avati femeie acolo ma, doamne iarta ma si nu ma bate. Ma, n-am mai vazut eu nicio muiere ma, numai de ale noastre, de aici, de ale locului. Ok, any idea where I could look for her? Da, păi numai Dumnezeu bunuțu știe, dar păi eu de unde să știu, mă, copile? Da, păi vezi tu, este un han acolo așa, ni, îi zice hanul vieță, așa îi zice, și apoi mergi tu frumos acolo pe chișoarele tale, în adida și tăi frumos, și apoi întrebi tu acolo, no, că poate știu oamenii, poate nu știu. Îi vede tu când ajungi acolo, no, bine, mergi frumos cu mâța după tine, tu mai mâni la ei, mă, bă, bă, fainiți, mă, neam de neamul meu nu o văzut așa ceva. Thanks! Are you from around here? Da cum, mă? Dar de din tată în fiu suntem aici, mă, cu, cu oile, da cum, mă? Dar păi de când mă știu eu, mă? Și apoi de când erau moșii mei, mă, tată meu, Vasilie, moșul Ioan, buna Varvara, tata lui moșul Solomon, zi, și ghibolul, și apoi moșilor teți, teți, teți de viacuri, tăt pe aici, no, păi cum? I see, weird weather we're having, huh? E, yeah, mă, zici tu bine ce zici, mă, tare duba și vreme, mă, mă, eu de când mă știu așa ceva n-am văzut. Apoi când plouă, când e soare, de vine țarușcă mea așa jos, când se supără sunt Ilie și apoi trântește o furtune de, de să cacă ciorile pe ele, mă, de frică, nu mai știi cum să te îmbrești. Doamne feri, ca, ca așa ceva de când mă muca m-a făcut, eu n-am mai văzut. Ascultă tu la mine! Alright, bye! 
Nu no bine, dragu tati, te-am țucat, mă, du-te, du-te că te ori aștepta Și apoi dacă nu te așteaptă, nu o las, că văd ei că vii Du-te, că mi-ești drag, mă, cu mâța aia după tine Nimă mă la ei, mă, 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 paini, să nu-i de ochi Du-te, dragă, merg cu Dumnezeu, te-am țucat, serus, serus What a lovely place! Just stay alert. I can smell the tension in the air. Well, that's probably just customers waiting for their meals to arrive. It takes time to dice up the meat enough to hide the stab wounds. <sighs> a cable that seems to run outside. Probably internet, I think. Hmm, it's pretty easy to follow if I were so inclined. I can follow. Okay, there's a thick glove that somehow made its way up there. I can't imagine how that would happen, but there it is. Hmm, do I need that glove? I think I do. I think... I think I want it. As has often been the case, can't reach it. Yo, Kitty, I need your climbing skills to get that glove up there, but do it, um... Do it stealthily, okay? Gotcha. I'm an ninja. Show off. <laughs> so, how are you liking Transylvania so far, Kide? It's the greatest! Really? Okay. I'll bet that guy spends hours in the mirror daily. I mean, look at that beard. It, it, it's perfect. <sighs> Man, I'll never look that tight. I think she'd better lay low in here. Evening. Yeah, hello. Do I know you? Please go away. My name's Buzz, and I'm a tourist. My name is Vasile, and I'm the alpha male. I'm not bragging, I don't want it to sound confrontational, just putting it out there so it's crystal clear. Okay, Vasile, I can respect that, I think. So, what's up? Look, man, I'm kind of busy trying to get the waitress's attention. Would you mind bothering someone else? Sheesh, fine. Wait a minute. Maybe you could help. Really? How? Come stand next to me. That way I'll shine even more by contrast, you know? Thanks. I'll pass. Have you seen a girl called Peace around? Not since I've been sitting here. And you can trust me. If there's anything I would have noticed, it would be a girl. Is she pretty? Never mind. Nice beard. Of course it's nice. It's only seen the inside of the best rated beard salons in the country. You have beard salons in Transylvania? Oh, cause we're Transylvanians and we should just let our facial hair grow out like animals, right? Bigot. Hey, I'm Romanian too. With that sad excuse of a five o'clock shadow? Please. Oh, brother. So, this waitress... Anna. Anna, how do you plan on getting her attention? Other than my stunningly styled hair, impeccably waxed beard and rock-hard abs? Uh, I think that's as far as this plan goes. That's it? 
What if your interests are completely opposite or your characters don't match? Wait, what do you mean? We both look good. Are you interested in anything else other than her looks? Uh, I, uh, I don't think I understand your question. Never mind, dude. See you around. Looks like a vial of vinegar. Hmm. I kinda, kinda wanted. I think she'd better lay. Watch out! What? What? You, you just said watch out. I did? Oh, I did. What? Oh, watch out! That there is not vinegar. It's not? What? No, it's a powerful solvent. I, uh, uh, I mislabeled it. <laughs> Silly me. Nearly killed myself with it. Not to mention me. Can I still have it? What? Yes, yes, take it. Just don't put it in your salad. What? What? Oh, darn it. Now I'm doing it too. Uh, thanks. It's a fork with very bent tines. Someone must have taken it to a particularly hard stake. That's sort of pitiful looking. I think she'd better... I mean, who knows? It might come in handy. These guys really love their pictures. Nicely decorated, too. I must admit, they really add to the rustic charm. I kind of like the green one. I don't think... Hey, it's an old-timey radio. Charming. I guess it comes in handy when all other communications are jammed. I think she'd better... Listeners throughout Transylvania and indeed the whole of Romania. That was, um, let me see here. Hmm. Oh, well, apparently I have no idea who was singing that, but, uh, oh boy, what a stinker. Maybe we're better off not ever knowing, right? Right, well, never mind that. You know that's the exception right here on Garlic Radio, because we only play the top Transylvanian hits. Uh, uh, uh. It's your boy, wait, no, it's your main man, Yanku, and we'll be spending the next hour or so together, so buckle up, everybody! No, seriously, whether you are in an autonomous or animal traction vehicle, wear the seatbelts. Please, they don't put those potholes in the road for nothing, you know what I'm saying? Ah, 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 ah. Ooh, I crack myself up sometimes. Anyway, dear listeners... Here's a weather update. We have no idea what's happening anymore. Darn it, weather. What is this, some kind of a joke? And what's this hurricane, Herbie, or whatever they call it, doing here? Hurricanes? In my Transylvania? And not only that, apparently it's messing with the GPS and internet in certain areas. I'm told the uh, Forum Maris is affected by this. Well, Forum Marisians, I hope you're receiving this. You should at least have a garlic radio in your life, am I right? Sure, I'm right. All righty, where were we? Caller, you're on the air. You're on the air. Yanko? Yes, you're on the air, friend. No, wait. Is it really Yanko? Yes, it's a me. You're on the air. Really? Oh, whoa. Oh, okay. You know, this always gets me. You call the radio specifically to talk to me, and then you're surprised when you finally do, and you don't believe it's me. So many people doing that. I don't get it. It's like, um, it's like if I called the police and they answered and I'd be surprised it's the police and, and questioned it. 
Jeez, okay, I I'm sorry. Ah, no, 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 don't be sorry. I'm just a little jumpy today. Just feeling these crazy times we're living in a bit more intensely today. Must be these weird mood swings the weather's been having. <sighs> All right, dear. What's your name and what are you calling about? There's a team. You know there's a team, right? Yes, yes, absolutely. That's why I call. I'm Jon. Everyone calls me Johnny. I'm a... I, I used to work the wolves up the old road leading to Castle Negro. Work the wolves? What is that? Some kind of a crazy young man lingo like... Sweet? Or... Ghost riding the whip or things kids say nowadays? No, 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 no. I, I was working with actual wolves, you know. We'd have these wolves that would just run along the carriage and howl as tourists were transported to the castle. And then, and then we can't do it anymore. Well, my dear, it's not that I don't respect your profession, but wild animals should be left to be wild. Surely not used as tourist attractions. No, but you don't understand. I wasn't hurting the animals or making them do it. We grew up together. Look, granted, you don't sound like the most polite and civilized person I've ever conversed with, to be sure, but I wouldn't exactly say you were raised by wolves. Not by, with. See, my father was a woodsman, and he found these wolf puppies. Who knows what happened to their mother? And so we kept them, and we raised them. Are you pulling my leg here? No, sir. You can ask anyone living in the area. Everybody knew my daddy. Good old Edward the woodsman. Well, Ned to most people. Good man. Is he not around anymore? Uh, no. Ugly, ugly chopping accident. He really got carried away with a promotion and, um, kind of lost his head. Oh, that's a shame. So sorry to hear that. Uh, so this wolf's, uh... Yeah, me and my siblings each got one. Wait, you said wolves at first, not wolf. What, did you move in on your siblings' pets or something? No, see? They, uh, my siblings, uh, they kind of started dropping like flies. Oh my, forgive me for sounding insensitive, but your family seems really, really fragile. Yeah, well, I guess we have a tendency to stick our noses where we don't belong, and then, whoops, nose gone, so to speak. Oh, dear me. Yes, anyway, so I had these wolves and almost no close relatives to speak of, right? Well, we took a job as uh, security guards first. You and the wolves? Together? Well, yes, they let us work together because, you know, security. Mind you, these are really tame wolves. Like dogs, really. I get it, I get it. So, was this like a mole you were guarding? Uh, no, um, a, a wall. You were guarding a wall? Pretty much, yeah. See, there were things on the other side of the wall. Things? And I kind of let them all come in. Oh, wow, okay. So, so I was unemployed, so we got this gig running the walls along the carriages headed to the castle. And then that one we lost too. And you know why? No idea. Another wall? No. Tourists complaining too dangerous. One, these are tame wolves. Friendly. All they do is howl. Two, they do not want fear and excitement, because that's our brand. I just don't get it anymore. I feel for you, Johnny. Yeah, they're making me use huskies. Huskies. How can I look my wolves in the eye anymore? <sighs> I don't know what to say, brother. Anyway, gotta go. Apparently there's going to be this meeting and I have to be there. There's this new kid I'm supposed to show the ropes to. Well, that's nice at least. What's his name so we can give him a shout out? Um, uh, I think it's Ollie? All right, Ollie and Johnny. Hope you guys get along. Good luck with the wolves and the castle and the wall and everything. Thanks, Yanku. Coming! Oof, all right. That was a... Um, surreal call. I think I can say that. Not quite. I mean, let's say on the edge of believability and stuff like that. We wish you good luck, Johnny. It seems you and your family have been dealt a pretty bad card in life. Hey, what are you gonna do, right? Sometimes you're the snake, sometimes you're the vampire. Who knows, maybe one day you'll make something of yourself. And take care of those wolves, will you? Good luck to you, kid. Sheesh.
All righty then, where were we? Oh, right. I was going to check in with the nation, feel its pulse and vibration on the one and only... Hello? On the one and only... Garlic Station? That's it, dear listener. Phew, we were almost getting far enough from my initial gambit for the rain not to work anymore. But then you turned it around like a horse cart in love. Like a horse cart. <laughs> I sure did, didn't I? Yes, you did, dear listener. And my screen over here says your name is Mishu, right? Uh, well, it's me high, really. And frankly, I'm a little upset your producer would take such liberty with people's names like that. Oh, oh come on. We are all friends here, Mishu. Me high. Yeah, whatever. So, you are aware that there's a team, right? Um, really? Well, I, uh, don't know if I'll stick with it. I think I'll just wing it, you know? That's my motto in life, too, Alex. Mishu. Oh, snap. Ah, ah, ah. L-O-L, as the kids say, right there? So, was there something you felt you needed to communicate to the Garlic Nation? Yes. I love you, Mariwara. Oh, brother. Should have known. Should have known. Are you at least sure she's listening, friend? Who cares? The world must know. All righty. Well, now that we got that out of the way, anything else, Mishu? Huh. Well, I never really thought much farther than that. You didn't, did you? Marriage? Kids? Marriage? You love that girl, don't you? Isn't it your biggest desire to spend the rest of your life with her? I mean, yes, sort of. I mean, yes, I love her, but the rest of my life, that sounds very final. Leave it to unmarried man to use such a bone-chilling word as final to describe a blissful, everlasting marriage. Oh, brother. And children. What do you mean? Brrr. They are pure joy, those little rascals, don't you know? Um, well, yeah, but aren't they noisy? 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 Understatement of the year, my dear Paul, but hey, eventually they grow up and, well, they go in the exact opposite direction. You know, they hit 16, they don't talk to you anymore, you suck, everything about you sucks. <clears throat> well, it seems I inadvertently scared him off. Eh, what are you gonna do? Everlasting love is not for everyone, my dear listener. Okay, where were we? Just a quick reminder of today's discussion team, folks. So, my dears, today we're talking about tourism in Transylvania. What this cookie foreigners expect of us and what we deliver. Have we grown soft? Is our bloody reputation just not cutting it anymore? Should we be ramping up the non-communication, obfuscation, shunning and general bad temper? Does anyone really ever fear for their life when they come here anymore? I want to hear your thoughts on it. Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> See what I did there? Olor, you're on the air. Hello, Yanko. This is Maria speaking. Hello there, darling. What are your thoughts on today's team, dear? A couple of things, Yanko. I drive one of these, you know, picturesque horse-drawn taxi carriages. Oh, yes. How's that business doing? Terrible, just terrible. I mean, tourists complain about us using GPS devices because it's not believable. I mean, my goodness, take a look around, people. Want me to get you to your destination or would you prefer we get lost in eternally dark and damp woods, people? Make up your minds, you silly person. Yes, I see your point, Anna. I mean, isn't it enough we have no highways for so-called credibility and a genuine rustic feeling? Uh, sometimes I feel I've had it up to here with a rustic charm, to be completely honest. Enough's enough. You're telling me? And now this storm, like it wasn't bad enough as it is. 
knocked out GPS and internet in a lot of places. Now they're complaining when I have to turn them down, because I can't navigate anywhere reliably. And there's thunderstorms starting out of nowhere all the time. Yes, yes, weather's gone completely crazy lately. I was just talking about that before. Well, that's all I wanted to say. I'm completely fed up, Yanku. I'm considering just buying a regular car and going broke, just like the rest of the taxi people. That's a risky proposition, right there, sister. But you do what you feel best for your business. Yes, I have to seriously think about it. Words gone crazy, Yanku. Thank you for taking my call. Sure thing, Dora. Thanks for calling in. See, folks, it's always the little guy that suffers. Always. These Martin Pence tourists complaining about technology all the time. <laughs> Are we branding our region as well as we should be? Are we not allowed to move forward with the times just like everybody else? Are we cursed with this bloody, rustic, vampire business model? What are we offering to the world? And what is it asking of us? All very important questions, dears. And we'll try to answer them after these words from our sponsors. After these words from our sponsors! Oh, great. Great! My producer's telling me the commercial tape is jammed again. And you know why? Because... Tourists complained we were using electronic format to store our audio in. Yes. Tourists listening to garlic radio complained. So management made us use tapes again. Tapes! You know what? With tapes it's all fine and good and dandy. It's so great. So, so great. Until the tape gets caught in the machine and you are doomed. And you know why that happens, dear friend? You want to know why? Can I give you a hint? It's all in the name, folks. Tapes. That's what they are. These narrow, physical, flat, shiny pieces of tape. And what's the purpose of tape? What's the one purpose of tape other than being an obsolete retainer of data? That's right, dear listener. The one purpose of tape. The thing which it does best, which I suspect it was designed to do best is get caught in machinery and ruin your day. And not just your day, your, your livelihood. Because now, we can't tell you about Motel Bored Deep in the Carpathians because we have no more audio because we used tape. So, dear foreigners complaining about how we're not authentic anymore here in Transylvania, good luck finding your motel in the Carpathian. Because I don't have the means to let you know what its whereabouts are. And they are probably going to want their money back from us. And can I blame them? Well, I could, but uh, that would be kind of unfair, don't you think? Well, you know what else is modern and out of place and unauthentic in Transylvania? Radio! That's right! Goodbye and good riddance! <laughs> I think they're the owners of this fine establishment. Welcome back, listeners, to Transylvania and indeed the whole of Romania. That was, um, uh, let me see here. Hm. Oh, well, apparently I have no idea who was singing that, but, uh... Oh Hi. Hello, foreigner. Greetings, stranger. My name's Kerwin, Buzz Kerwin. Rodika. And this is my husband, Istvan. Wait. Did you say Kerwin? Yes, I'm actually half Romanian myself. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, dear, and I don't like it one bit. What? Nothing. Never mind. Oh, why does everything have to be so mysterious and complicated? I'm looking for a girl. This is not that kind of vein. No, no, a particular girl. Her name is Peace. Is this some kind of uh, social commentary metaphor you're trying to pull? Pretty beautiful if it is. Uh, no, I mean it in the most literal way. Look, 
We have to be very skeptical to strangers around here, especially foreigners. Don't ask, we just do. What was that about my name? Oh, it's just... Uh, how do you spell that? K-E-R-W-A-N. See? That doesn't sound like a local name. Not at all. Has it been altered in the last few generations? You know, I really have no idea. Wait, altered from what? Istvan, let it go. It's the gentleman's business. But Kor... Shush! Kor what? Enjoy your stay in scenic Transylvania, my friend. Foreigner, stranger... No one ever seems to be welcoming anymore. I'm starting to think it's me. Oh, it's uh, not you. We have to... Istvan, you should stop talking now. No, 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 no. By all means, keep talking. You have a... what? A very wise wife, who reminds me when I'm talking out of school. Oh, Isti, you smooth operator. I'm still curious about your unwelcoming attitude. I mean, this is an inn, right? We are, um... We have to be skeptical toward foreigners. Have to? And I'm half Transylvanian. Half Transylvanian, huh? Okay, okay. Let's say you need to earn our trust. Hear that? How would one go about earning your trust then? Suika! Gesundheit. You said you're half Transylvania. Suika is our local drink. 60% alcohol. Sixth? And you expect me to ingest that? I can't trust a man unless he drinks with me. What century is this again? It's our tradition. So, we drink? Hit me. No, no! There you go! Now, ask me anything. I don't understand! Come back when you're sober, eh? 